All right, so this first clip here is something that I filmed with no live commentary because I just was not feeling up to it at the time and I was kind of tired. I've been spending a lot of time earlier in the day working on my base and gathering and doing all the stuff that you have to do when you're on vanilla, which is very, very time consuming. Anyways, though, when I was crafting some gunpowder at my base, just kind of sitting around for, you know, maybe an hour or something crafting different things, I heard footsteps outside the base. I wasn't too worried about it or anything. I gave them a couple minutes to just kind of hang out, you know, and see if they were going to leave. And they were there for a long time. They were there for like 10 minutes. So I'm assuming that they were trying to scope out my base to raid it because they were there for so long. So I went outside and I saw them. They were kind of perched up on the hill above my base. So I shot at them a couple times, missed them intentionally, you know, just as a warning to see what would happen. They started shooting back and they missed me, even though they were really trying to hit me. Like I could tell that they were. Um, which is funny because, like, no offense to them, but they have terrible aim. Anyways, so, after they did that, I pretended that I was leaving them alone, wasn't following them anymore, until they ran over the hill and into the valley below, so I tracked them, and I ended up finding them by a little lake, um, you know, maybe half a mile away or whatever kind of distance calculation it would be, and I was like, screw it, I'm just going to shoot them, going to snipe them, because they're just sitting there, probably marking stuff on their map and not paying attention. So I drop them, of course, and I get all this loot, freaking nice loot, too, as well as the maps that they had. And that was probably one of the coolest things, because this map, as you can see, has raid locations spelled out for me. So what I did was cross-reference that with my map, which I had spent hours and hours revealing the entire game seed on that map which is a story for another time, uh, an unfortunate story because I lost it by dying from a helicopter. So point being, they basically spelled out some raids for me. I didn't even have to look for them or find them on my own, which is awesome. That's why I love the map in this game, uh, because it adds like a whole new element of intel, gathering, and tactics, and uh, stuff like that, which I think is, is really, really amazing. Um, it's something that I love about Rust. Um, but anyways, yeah, these guys were getting kind of salty on me, too. They were like, you ruined the game for us because I killed them like that or whatever. And uh, I was telling them, well, you know, like, I'm not going to take everything. I left them some stuff. And I also was going to set him a sleeping bag, although he wasn't on my friends list, so I could not manage to get that to work at the time. I don't know what was going on with it. But um, I was also like, yeah, I'll set you a sleeping bag, let you spawn here. Like, I'm not going to take everything. I'm not going to bully you. I'm not going to grief you. But, I mean, you were at my base, and when people are at my base, I tend to shoot first and ask questions later. So that's what I did. And, yeah, I mean, you're kind of asking for it when, when you're marking my base on your map with a big red X, like, you're going to raid it or something. So, anyways, it's just kind of a funny story there. And uh, I actually went on to raid these guys uh, later on. They had, like, a little base that uh, didn't even have a ceiling on it. So you'll see that in a minute. But hope you enjoyed the video. Don't forget to like it. Subscribe if you haven't. Check out all the other stuff when you're done with this one. And uh, check out Smoke and Cheddar. So, yeah. See ya. Uh, over on the other side of the wall. He's uh, over by the... Uh, excuse me. He's where I'm looking at right now. The, oh, shit. Oh, he's running. I'm going to chase him with a sword. I don't have anything else to shoot him with. Who is that? Let's do, I'm just going to do a player check. Well, I see the Charles or Wing, and considering Wing lost his house earlier on to me, I'm going to wager that's Charles. There's this guy with a spear. Hello! Well, I hit one of them. <laughs> They're running! I shot one of them in the butt. I want to be your friend! Come be my friend! It I need to eat you. I'm hungry. To harvest your meat. Let's just follow him. <gasps> oh, you could lead him back to his house where I left the trap behind his door. Oh shit, we should do that. Wing, wing, wing. Stop! I didn't know it was you. Wing. I won't hurt you. God damn it! Stop. I didn't know it was you. Hey, I know, I know where your house is. I know where your house is. Do you want to get back to your house? <laughs> oh, have you been back there? No. 
Oh, right. Well, are you going to go back there anytime soon? What's up? What you doing? He's now working out why I know where his house is. Let's be nice. Jab him with a syringe. Yeah, I just bandaged him. Do you know what? I, I think we should leave him alone. Fuck it. Let's just leave him alone. I've already robbed him blind. Oh, but poor scrubs. Slicing the door. Oh, wow. Yeah, man. Just use a sword. Yeah, I have use one. Use a sword, get it down as low as you can get it, and then swap out for a hatchet. Easy pick raid. That sucks for them. We could have gone in through the wall because the wall's facing the wrong way and it takes uh, extra damage, but... Nah. This way they haven't got a door. Maybe they'll fucking learn then. Let's see who, it, who, who this belongs to. Oh my god, it's Charlie's. This is the second person I've raided today who is currently online. We could just wait here for him to come back and then, like, blast him. You want to do that? He's got, like, a shitload of sulfur. Have you seen that? Well, maybe not a shitload, but... He actually has nothing I'm interested in stealing. I mean, I could just steal it, but there would be no point. He doesn't have anything that's really worth me stealing. I'm going to take his sulfur. I, I don't really care much about the other stuff. I'm going to take his stone and his sulfur. I'll leave him a road sign kill that I found. <sighs> Does he have any high quality metal? That's what I want to know. No. Otherwise, I'd have nicked it. I'll take some of his food, too. Are you talking to him? <laughs> yeah, I've just told him we've bust open his front door and we're nicking his shit. <laughs> not everything, though. Definitely not. I'll leave him the broken Thompson. So I don't really care about it too much. All right, on our way to a raid. Not completely sure if this is even an occupied base anymore because the people that you saw me kill earlier that were hanging around at my base yesterday said they were migrating when I killed them. So I don't know if they ever did migrate or not, but I pretty sure that this is their original base location that we're headed to so we're gonna see if we can't get the low-grade fuel that I think one of them stole from my quarry earlier we'll see and I'm with uh, stitch here what's your YouTube what's name up? or wh what do you plan to, to go by on YouTube uh, it's gonna be stitch gaming right on stitch gaming in the house we're getting pretty close right now. We're almost within visual range. Although we can't see them because they're up on this little hill crop over there. So, wood wall. Oh wait, the wood wall is on the bottom story? That might be a problem. Oh, right there, okay. They're down um, here, but if you break the, if you, if we destroy the foundation, then... Looks like someone was already trying to break through this stuff. This is a weak spot right here. Hmm. I don't know. Is it worth doing one C4? Because if you do a foundation, everything falls down. I know. Um. I say if we just C4 through this, let's just take a guess on the top story right there. So. Okay. All right, looks like we're in. Oh, perfect. Multiple sleepers and shit. Please just don't take anything before I film it. That other one is. Oh wow, 722 blueprint fragments and thousand Ooh, whatever sulfur. Good. Let's check out this guy. Uh, he's not 
that great, and at least not this a lot of the stuff I need. This guy but I don't think it was- oh wait, there's a thing underneath the stairs with broken guns, but it's worth repairing. No, this is good. Yeah, that's- that's loot. Oh, let's so, see, what about this chest? I that Ooh, a bolt? Dude, fuck yeah. I, I wonder if they try to research it already. Either way, that's good to have a, a bolt like that, free bolt. So should I just start taking stuff? Yeah, yeah, go for it, let's loot. Dude, 722 blueprint fragments. I know, that's like a lot too, that's hard to get. Uh, let's not take everything though, let's just take what we need because I don't want to wreck the server or anything. Yeah, we don't need one animal fat. Uh, actually, let me, let me stack that animal fat with the animal fat I picked up off of this chick right here. Alright. Alexandra is the name of this character, I wonder if that means it's a girl. Uh, there's some stuff in there if you want to take it. I'll get from the other guy. I'll take from this guy. Actually, should we take his soul? There's soul. Yeah, we need soul. Yeah, blood. we need it. We need to take that stuff. We need the. We need the ores and shit. Uh, what's worth taking from this guy? I'll give him my rock because I have. Oh wait. Arrows. Take the crude oil. Um, I'm gonna take that, take their arrows, yeah, we can leave, uh, you wanna take their bear meat? We're gonna no, it doesn't cook, it's glitched currently, I don't know if they fixed that yet, I don't know. What about anti-rad pills? No, there's no rads either. Those those two things are glitched right now, so let's not even worry about that. Wait, but isn't bear uh bear meat? You don't need to cook it. You don't need to cook it. No, you eat it. It just gives you life. Just take it. Oh really? Yeah. Shit. I'm full though right now. It's like pretty valuable stuff for for the most part. So. All right, so we found another base over here, and it appears that they've like done some upgrading and stuff, modifications on the base since I first spotted it. Um, it was really newbie when I first saw it. Now it's looking a little bit more formidable, except for the fact that I'm not building blocks right here. So unfortunately for these guys, it's probably not going to be resource intensive at all to get in here. It's probably just going to be uh, walking straight in. So let me just try and get this ladder perfect. The top, and we got our second ladder. Let's throw it right there, and up we go. All right. Hey, look at that! An airdrop close by. Might have to try and get that afterward. Oh, and yeah, it looks like we're just gonna walk right in. Two rockets in here. I'll let you see that. Um, more guns and some med kits. So far, really good raid for only having to spend like 600 wood on it and 100 cloth. But it's actually a cool painting on the wall there. Holy shit. Jackpot. I'm calling this a fucking jackpot. God damn. Dude. And the rest of the stuff isn't as great, but yeah, that's that's jackpot. That is fucking jackpot. And I'm, I'm sure someone's going to complain about my full inventory. Classic loin stain move, but hey, I was gathering shit along the way because it's uh, vanilla and you never know when you need shit. Plus, I wasn't sure if we're going to have to pickaxe through something, so I brought extra materials for that. But anyways, yeah, let's start looting. I'm just going to leave that stuff there. I can keep their shitty half-broken crossbow and stuff. Just gonna eat up a little bit. I'll leave them 200 wood. Wood I can't stack on that right there. Oh, 
165, um, whatever. I don't think I saw this chest. Take that slug. I have one more at home. I'm gonna need to research it. No, don't kill their artwork. It's beautiful. It's such great modern art. How could you deface such a beautiful piece of art like that? I'll leave them the revolver. Take the Thompsons. Switch pickaxe out for some of these. The two rockets, obviously, we need. Swap that with my leather. I'll throw on the face mask. If you want, like, gun or whatever to equip yourself with, there's another Thompson in there. I mean, maybe we should leave them one Thompson. Well, that was fucking amazing. I'm so glad I decided to raid that place. Coming in, north. Okay. Oh my god. I'm gonna try and get its attention. Okay, we pissed it off. Here it coming. There it is. It's just flown right over the top, heading into... Come on, you son of a bitch! Oh man, it's so hard to hit that shit. I should probably just stop wasting my time. I'm just gonna shoot it. Where are you? Oh! Eat that! Mm. I think we got this. Stay moving, obviously. I'm gonna start opening fire in a second. not like to get hit. Thanks to dodge bullets. Oh, we're doing a lot of damage right there, though. Don't run away. Don't go away. Bolt it. Reloading. Incoming oh. rockets. Oh my god. That was so close to me. That sounded like B-Kid just got wrecked. Surprised I didn't get wrecked myself. Bandaging. Oh my god, rockets! Ah! Almost killed me. <laughs> Sorry, I guess I should not get too hysterical. She's on fire while she's smoking. Oh, so hard, man. It's so hard to. If I just aimed a little bit more up, I would have hit that. I like how it can actually miss you. Too. Like, it's not always the best to shoot them. It's a well-balanced AI. Oh no, don't, no! Oh shit. I get so scared every time it does that. Oh my god, rockets. Incoming! Down again, down again. Oh man, these rockets just don't cut it. They just don't do it. Such a shame. Mmm, every time it's so fucking close, but oh well. Gun is just the way to go. She's going down, she's going down. Oh really? Which direction? We got it, we got it. We fucking killed it. Dude, that was Sound. easier than I thought. We did it! I need to get out of the base, I need to get out of the base! No, me too! How do I get out of the base? I can't get out! You have to go up and then down, unless the stairs are broken. Upstairs. Okay. We need to secure that landing. We definitely do. Dude, fuck yeah, so what, eight minutes? Isn't that the timer for this or something? Yeah, something like that. 
Okay, I'm switching to incendiary rounds in case anyone gets any funny ideas. Good idea. I don't have any on me actually. I'm gonna just uh go explosive. Did you get that? Tell me you got that on camera. Yeah, of course. Well, not the crash, unfortunately. I, it, it was hard for me to get to the um, angle because I was stuck in the floors. Yeah, I took out a deer when it crashed. <laughs> really? I'm bummed I did not actually yeah. film that, but I'm just going to sit in this bush, so if you see anyone, let me know. Ow, 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 ow. That's a good screenshot. Oh. Uh. <laughs> Ready, B kid. Is that a landmine? Celebratory fire. Oh, ow, Jesus Christ, that is definitely not. No. Oh, let's celebrate. Wait, let's see, what does that have? Anything good? Ow, I'm on fire. Oh, shit. Fire. I'm should let on me, fire. Let me film the loot if I can. Oh, nice. Wait, hold that, hold that pose. <laughs> Stay still, standing up, stay still, standing up. Hold that pose right there. Oh my god, you look beautiful. Just show off your beautiful, beautiful face. There you go. Okay. CCTV camera, two silencers, two hollow sights, and all of this stuff. Wow, that is actually pretty disappointing. I mean, the ammo's okay, at least that replenishes some of what we used, but wow. Sad.